What's up, guys? Suicide Ground, a little quiet intro for a quiet clap there, and, you know, we're just gonna keep it calm, but we're gonna try to keep it short. We'll see how fucking short that'll be, because, you know, with this guy, fucking yap song for fucking ten minutes, just fucking trying to explain one point, so... Uh, let's hope that's not gonna happen. I am currently wasted. Wasted! You know, King Diamond joke. You're gonna, you're gonna know about that when, uh, uh, when I'm in the fuck, when, when I'm in the fuck, yeah, when I'm in the fuck. Tomorrow, when you see my vlog again, because I'm vlogging again and doing, like, the fun stuff, so... Uh, you're gonna see that then, and, uh, yeah, really what's going on is I'm just thanking Shredbeard for his awesome contribution. He, uh, bought my album and got two for the price of one, you know? But, I think, uh, to me, it's like, it, you know, he already was went out of his way to support me, so, uh, and, and he also said in the video, don't worry, I'll be getting more, you, you really don't have to, but... I appreciate it, man. That's some fucking metal brotherhood right there, right? Fucking salute a motherfucker, you know? He's a real motherfucker, you know? Shredbeard's one of the realest motherfuckers on the platform. He keeps it real. I was expecting him to rip on something, but hey, it was all nice words. It was, and he even had some fuck, you know? And, and seeing his fucking energy in the video and him laughing and smiling about, like, the song titles and shit. You know, that's... I have to sit up, otherwise my fucking back's gonna be fucked when I'm going out to take a hike when the sun, sun rises at like 3 a.m. It's in like 13 minutes from now. I think it's gonna start to rise then. But yeah, um, fucking, I got distracted from that. But we were talking about Shred Beard and it, yeah, he was laughing about the song titles. And I make the music mainly for these right here, if you know what I mean. But when someone enjoys my music and they're fucking talking about it like Big Beard was in his video, that's my nickname for him. Because, you know, we got... It kind of stemmed off the whole Big D, Big Willie thing with J-Dog. But, you know, we got... I nicknamed Lop the Lopmeister, and now Mike Violet is Big V, and now he's Big Beard, which fucking makes sense because his beard is fucking long as shit. But my beard's per se... Puts my beard to shame, but I'm fucking happy with my beard because my beard is not meant to be massive fucking, you know, the bike, the massive biker beard. That's what I kind of call Fred Beard's beard, the big beard. Mine's supposed to be after Dimebag because I grew up, I fought Dimebag, looked fucking badass with his like go goatee is about this fucking size anyways. And I think I look badass with a goatee as well. Now I don't I don't mean to be like that, but sometimes I look myself in the mirror and I'm happy with a, what I see. So that as thumbs up, you know. Some guys can't admit that, and some guys, you know, they won't admit it even though they secretly look at themselves in the mirror, jacking one, you know, cranking it out, cranking a hog, feeding the birds. Um, but yeah, it's just even though I write it for my own ears, just hearing someone that excited and, and energetic and happy and laughing about the song titles and the lyrics, being like, this fucking shit's insane and fucking good. And, you know, that means the fucking, you know, when someone actually portrays it in a way you can tell they mean it, that means the world to me. I fucking... Shredbeard's a fucking real motherfucker, you know? I said that already, but, you know, fuck. That right there is like, that guy you can, you can trust. He's gonna be honest. Man, I, I'm I'm a little bit speechless as well for this for the video. I could just sit, I was just sitting there all for the whole thing during the premiere of the video, just fucking smiling my ass off. I was just you know makes the grind fucking happy seeing that shit. And you know I did put out uh, the the Go to Mentis cover, which fucking hell people really fucking enjoyed that one too, eh? Didn't they? But yeah, I just wanted to make. It, just to put this out here that dude it's fucking great and you know uh maybe not accidentally putting in the wrong c you know putting in two cds for the price of one but i actually wish there, that the label did some like stickers or, or some extra goodies you know just the same but you know sometimes you gotta get dick nass but 
And I said it. Sometimes you gotta bite the cock, like Bubble said to Ricky. But yeah, I should keep it low, should keep it short. I just want to make this short little thank you for Shredbeard, Big Beard. It's a call now. I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to supply you with some more Toonskis. I got, you got two today. Two more Toonskis to enjoy. And uh, there's more where that comes from. There's free fucking Toonskis coming. I might as well sell you the fucking inside scoop here. At the end of August, Grant's going to buy some fucking new strings. And it's going to... He's going to buy 11s and then get the Jackson into it down from C sharp standard to C standard, this member tuning, and, you know, drop some heavier riffs and, you know, drop some tune skis. I got three songs literally ingrained in my head, like, this is what they're going to sound, like, this is what they're going to sound like, and this is what they're called, and, you know, I just have to get the strings and record them, essentially, just figure out the writing, just gotta write the riffs essentially, which that happens in about a day, uh, that's, I mean, when I have the idea just laid out for me like this, it's gonna, that's, that's when riffs come like, like fucking clockwork, and that's good, cause I've got full, uh, fucking five ideas, I got a six one, six, one, fuck, Oh, I forgot what I was going to call it, though. I was going to write a, a, the six... Okay, I, I actually have, have four song ideas where one, I kind of forgot, but I when I see it and, and remember it, I know exactly what I'm going to name it and, you know, what it's going to be in the style of and called and shit like that. Just to say... But yeah, the album is The Dark Tribute Part 2. Part 1 is actually my second full-length ever album that I ever did. And uh, it's kind of a callback to that album, you know. I, I wanted to go back to that stuff. And so does my kitty cat. Because she misses the old grind holes. Ain't that right, little kitty? Now, we, me and my kitty are going to go cuddle to some incantation. So you gotta say goodbye to the kitty.